Today we're looking at one of our 1,000 gallon monolithic septic tanks and we're looking on the inlet side and on all of our tanks we have three inlets and three outlets. So we have one down the center on the short end of the tank, then we have one on either corner about 12 inches off the corner and we mark our tanks with inlet and outlet. So this side is labeled the inlet side. We use Polylock 4 boots and Conceal Butyl Rubber for our top seam connection on this tank. So you can't really see it, but there's a black gasket that goes around the top and we set the cover down into it and it compresses to hopefully give us a nice watertight connection. We label all of our tanks with our name and then the size of the tank, max burial depth, and live load capacity. And as we walk across, you can see there's a pitch difference. On almost all of our tanks, we have a three inch pitch difference between inlet and outlet, and that allows the water to flow and leave the tank by gravity. Here's our three outlet boots, one down the center again, and then one off either corner, about 12 inches. And we also pour this particular tank with plastic risers built into the top of the tank. And what this allows is for you to connect a plastic riser right to it and screw it down and have a nice watertight connection. Then when you bring it to grade, it'll have a nice green cover on top of it, dark green, which uh, just looks better than having a concrete cover. Now this shows the top of our 1250 gallon tank and because it's a single compartment tank it has two covers on top of it. One of them is the inlet and the other one is the outlet. And this particular one we have plastic riser and cover built into the top of the tank so you can bring it up to grade as a watertight connection. So if I go up here we have two handles so we can easily pick up the cover and it has a taper to it. And you put it back down in, nice and easy, 23 and a half inches in roundness. On this side, we put a six inch riser on top of the tank. And you screw it all down in, there's eight screw holes. You screw down each hole, and you put the uh, plastic cover back on top of it. You turn it, and you screw these down as well. And it has handles, so you can pull it up once it's in the ground. And that is one option we carry. We carry polylock risers and covers and built in and you, this comes with or without plastic. In New England uh, because we have extreme winter temperatures uh, on, at our plant before this goes out into stock we drill a weep hole at the very bottom of the tank because concrete covers are not watertight and if water seeps into this tank and freezes it'll crack the bottom of the tank and uh, make it not watertight. So what we do is we drill a weep hole so if any water gets inside of the tank it leaks out and then before we deliver this to a customer, we'll take water plug and we'll water plug this so it's nice and watertight. But because we are able to deliver this tank in one piece and we uh, keep it in stock in one piece, that's what we have to do is keep a weep hole until uh, it's going out uh, for delivery. 